Good morning, class. Today we are going to discuss about DNA fingerprinting. As we all familiar uh, about DNA fingerprinting, so what is DNA fingerprinting? It uh, it is a technique. We also uh, call as DNA finger fingerprinting as DNA typing. Also called as DNA profiling. and it can also be known as dna testing this is a technique which was discovered by a scientist known as sir alex jeffrey this technique is mainly used for various purpose it is a very useful technique used for determining a relationship between two person whether they are from same family means there are any relationship between family relationships exist between two persons or not it can be used for various disease diagnosis purpose and it can also be used for uh, in uh, solving many criminal cases so after st uh, starting what is the process of dna fingerprinting so process of dna fingerprinting but before going on process we also know that uh, what is dna fingerprinting is actually we uh, all know that uh, it is based on tandem repeats so tandem repeats known as variable number of tandem repeats that are present in every human body these are variable number of tandem repeats what are these variable number of tandem repeats these are certain repeats present random repeats present in every individual what is the property of these repeats this certain property of these vntrs that these are similar four persons that are identically similar but are different four persons that are not identical to each other this is the basis of dna fingerprinting dna fingerprinting exploits uh, the vntrs phenomena now what is the process of dna fingerprinting for this process first we take sample of dna sample of dna may be a drop of blood root of hair or skin scraping means dna sample may be a drop of blood it may be root of a hair or it may be skin scraping after taking sample of dna then we digest the dna with the help of restriction endonuclease enzyme endonuclease enzyme we digest the sample of dna these are digested dna after digestion of dna electrophoresis of dna can be done after electrophoresis of dna these digested dna are separate on the basis of their size separation of digested dna then we can denature these digested dna these are denatured digested dna then transfer to extra film after hybridization
with probe and then bands are observed. So this is the process of DNA fingerprinting in which first we take the sample of DNA which may be drop of blood, root of hair, skin scraping, etc. After taking the sample of DNA, we can digest the DNA with the help of restriction endonuclease enzyme. This enzyme digests the DNA. Then after digestion, electrophoresis of DNA takes place which separates the DNA according to their size. After separation of digested DNA, uh, digested DNA are denatured with the help of alkali treatment. So these are denatured uh, uh, DNA. Then hybridization take place, then transfer to X-ray film and bands are observed. Then on the basis of these bands pattern, we can identify or we can use the process of DNA fingerprinting. How we can use DNA fingerprinting? For example, what are the applications of DNA fingerprinting? How we can use DNA fingerprinting in various purpose? First, we can also use for DNA fingerprinting for the purpose of diagnosis of various diseases. Diagnosis of various genetic diseases. Certain diseases that are diagnosed with the help of DNA fingerprinting are sickle cell anemia. and some other diseases also be identified. Third application that is most important, we use DNA fingerprinting in forensic or in criminal cases. How we can use DNA fingerprinting process in forensic or criminal cases? For example, a sample of DNA taken from site then this DNA digest with restriction endonuclease enzyme then electrophoresis then denature hybridization, same process as we discussed earlier, then transfer to X-ray film, then bands are observed. So, for example, this is the sample that taken from the site and bands are observed. This is, there are two suspects, there is one suspect and two suspect for which we test the DNA fingerprints. For one, the bands are obtained data. For two bands obtain these. So how we can identify on the basis of these bands? This is sample that is taken from the site. These are two suspects. So the two uh, one band, second, third. So three bands are matching of suspect one with the sample, while only one band match for the suspect two. So we can conclude that sample is matched with suspect 1. So this is called as criminal that is suspected criminal because there are maximum 3 bands match while 2 only 1 band match. So in this process we can identify uh, the person who has band similarity between the uh, uh, sorry with the sample. So these are very various useful uh, in applications of DNA fingerprinting means and diagnosis of genetic disease and diagnosis uh, of various diseases like sickle cell anemia, like uh, some other diseases, it can be used uh, in determining whether uh, two persons are related or unrelated, or it can be diagnosed uh, 
uh, it can be used for in criminal cases to solve some criminal cases. Besides these applications, some disadvantages also occur of DNA fingerprinting, such as disadvantages of DNA fingerprinting. First one is further standardization and control needed. Second, there is also a chance that one in billion person have the same base sequence. Third one is there are very few laboratories that gives accurate result which is very necessary for DNA fingerprinting. So besides various advantages of DNA fingerprinting, these are some disadvantages of DNA fingerprinting. First one is further standardization and control is needed. Second is there is also a chance that in one in billion person have the same base sequence. So it gives inaccurate result. Third one is there are very few labs in the world that gives the accurate results. And accurate results are very necessary in DNA fingerprinting. So these are some disadvantages of DNA fingerprinting. So this is all about the DNA fingerprinting. Thank you.